hi everyone welcome back so we are going to continue our discussion on streamflow hydrographs so in this short clip we are going to learn how to describe hydrographs based on how they look so let's begin so let's look at how a hydrograph look like from a single event versus a continuous hydrograph on a stream so we have this queue and we have seen this many times so what I have done here is just plotted a hydrograph resulting from one single storm so it's a nice looking hydrograph with single peak so most of the times the time scale on this is from hours to days maybe few days or hopefully no more than 10 15 days so this is how a nice single peak hydrograph looks like from a single event and even within this we have seen like depending on the land use and rainfall distribution both in space and time so you can have a hydrograph that has high peak uh, steep rising and falling limbs and very short time to peak or if you have a rural or forested area or if the rainfall is not that intense you may end up with a hydrograph that looks something like this so it has a very flat shape uh, smaller peak value and higher time to peak so depending on the rainfall depending on the land use a single event hydrograph may have different shapes like this now let's look at how a continuous hydrograph looks like so in a continuous hydrograph we have these peaks depending on when there is a rainfall when there is no rainfall what you see here is sort of base flow so then the time scale on a continuous hydrograph could be from months to years so it could be for few months or it could be for few years or maybe 10 to 50 years or even 100 years so you can have a continuous hydrograph as long as you have the data to describe it so there are again depending on the stream and watershed size a continuous hydrograph will also have different shapes or characteristics so let's look at some of those so what I have done here is I have plotted one year of data for Wabash River at Lafayette. So this is where we are at Purdue. Um, so the blue line is the actual measured discharge or in this case estimated discharge from stage data. And the yellow dot that you see here, these are the mean daily values by using last 96 years of data. Uh, so you can see that the the discharge in Wabash River is above zero or in this case most of the times it's above let's say like 3000 CFS um, even though this looks zero here it's not zero the minimum value here is close to 1000 CFS so when you see a hydrograph that never reaches a zero value what that means is that there is always water flowing through that stream or river and we usually call that river as perennial river or stream so the hydrograph that we see here for Wabash is for a perennial or so the hydrograph is for a perennial river or stream this is another hydrograph again in Indiana so Indiana is a humid region so whenever you have large rivers such as Wabash you expect that the hydrograph to have some base flow all the time so this is Plum Creek um, it's near Indianapolis 
so what you see in this is most of the times a lot of times the value is close to zero which means the this creek is dry and whenever there is a rainfall in the watershed that's when you see these peaks and when the rainfall stops the the creek goes back to no flow so in this case what we have is an ephemeral stream so again you can expect to have these hydrographs in in small creeks and streams um, even though we haven't spoken about the stream order so we usually see this in lower order streams so these are running dry when there is no rainfall and when you have rainfall you have these peaks and as soon as the rainfall stops the the flow goes back to zero so again a lot of streams and rivers in dry and semi-arid regions will show this kind of behavior and finally if you don't look at the time scale here if you just look at the shape you may see you may think that this looks like a event hydrograph but it is not so this is colorado river near colorado utah state line so again this is one year of data so if i just plot the sort of mean value so again all these plots you will see these blue dots they show the mean daily value based on historical data so this is what you have here is uh, stream flow responding to temperature if you think about it and this is a snow fed river so whenever the temperature rises uh, in summer you can see the the flow increases and as the temperature falls down the flow goes down and then you see these peaks or spikes intermediate spikes and these spikes are responding to the actual rainfall event taking place during that time otherwise when there is no rainfall you can see that the flow sort of responds you know, to temperature so when the temperature rises the snow melts there is no more flow in the stream and when the temperature drops there is less flow in the stream so this is a snow fed river so this is all about this clip so as i said it's going to be a short clip so what we learned in this clip is how to describe an event and continuous hydrographs and how this continuous hydrograph looks like for perennial stream ephemeral stream and snow fed river and in the next video we are going to talk about base flow and base flow separation so i hope you understand all of this if not feel free to email me and I'll see you next time. Bye.